milestone in my life. Uh, celebrating my 25th wedding anniversary. 25 years of marriage. 29 years together, 25 years marriage. And um, it's a very important milestone. It's like, you know, when you turn 30, when you turn 50, you know. Important milestones. 25 years of marriage is a big milestone. And uh, one of my coworkers, a uh, younger coworker of mine this morning, uh, asked me, he said, man, how how do you stay married for 25 years? You know, I've been married, he said he's been married eight years. And, you know, he said, man, you know, we've been through some things. Like, it's been, I said, bro, there's no simple answer to that. There's really no simple answer to how you stay married for 25 years. Uh, aside from the most obvious answer is that you want to, you know, you both have a severe, have a serious want to when it comes to saying we're going to stay married. And it's not that you say you're going to do this despite whatever happens, but you're going to do this despite most of whatever happens. Because one thing you learn early on in the game is that you got to throw out that thing called deal breakers. That thing called deal breakers is a, it, 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 it sets up, I think when you say you have deal breakers, if she does this, I'm out. If he does this, I'm out. If he, you know, if, 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 if they do this, this is unforgivable. If they do this, that's unforgivable. In a marriage, marriage is like, I'm not the most religious person in the world. You might find me in church two or three times a year, but I do believe that God forgives us for, for, for everything we do. Um, almost universally. And if, if God can do that for us, then who are we to not do it for another person? And when you say, I am going to commit myself to this person, to this unit, uh, once we start having kids and all that, I'm going to give these kids a whole household to be raised in. I'm going to give these kids a family, a mother and a father structure that they're going to grow up in. And we're going to persevere through all the things, you know, through the, through the, through the, the, the times when we, we down to our last dollar, down to our last dime to the time when we got a, a bank account full of money to the times when we got the, the, you know, one raggedy car to share between us to the time when we got to borrow a car or rent a car just to make it to the next time we actually have a car, you know, to the time from the times when we buy this big, pretty new house to the times when we, uh, you know, have, have lost the house, you know, to the time we had to go down to the bankruptcy court and, and throw ourselves on the mercy of the court and say, uh, you know, Hey, this is where we are. This is what we need to do. We got to rebuild. We got to, you know, start over and all this and that. All that can happen in the course of 25 years. And a lot of that has happened in the course of 25 years. You know, that's, that's, that, them, them vows for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, through sickness and health. 25 years, you're going to deal with all that. And anybody who tell you that they, anybody who tell you that they've been married for a long time and they ain't dealt with none of that, they lying. They lying to you. Anybody tell you, oh, every day of this marriage has been, you know, skipping through the, the, the daisy fields and, and holding hands and, and, and swinging, swinging her around in the rain. And, you know, we, we laying at the beach feeding each other grapes and drinking wine. And it's just been amazing. And we've been in love every single day. That's bullshit. Um, you ain't going to be in love every day. You might love that person every day, but you ain't going to be in love every single day. Yeah, there's some people that might. Because some people might be watching this be like, oh, I've been in love with my husband. I've been in love with my wife. Okay, maybe. Okay, man, I'll give you that. But for most people, you ain't going to be in love every single day. And those times, now you're going to always love that person. I'm going to always love my wife. My wife will always love me. But there's been times when we have not been in love every single minute of every single hour of every single day. And at those times, you hope that you like each other enough that you say, you know what, I'm going to like this person through this period of time that I don't necessarily feel like I'm in love with this person. And we're going to make it on through this valley until we get up that next mountain. Because there's going to be valleys. There's going to be peaks. There's going to be valleys. There's going to be peaks. There's going to be valleys. There's going to be flat times. There's going to be times when you like, what the f am I doing with this person? And there's going to be times when you're going to be like, what the f what I do without this person. That's just marriage. Is it tough? Yes. Is it 
when it's bad and when it, when it's bad, it's really bad. Because things happen that make you be like, shh, man. When it's bad, it's bad. But when it's good, it's fantastic. Because it's all those things that make a day like today meaningful. Because you look back, you reflect on all the things that it took to get here. And it wasn't all good. It wasn't all pretty. But it wasn't all bad. And it wasn't all, you know, sad and terrible either. It's just, it's a mix of all of that. And at the end of that 25 year journey, you just hope that, and it's not that's, and it's not that 25 years is the end, but I'm saying when you get to this milestone, you just hope that every, when you're looking back, that everything that was good outweighs everything that was bad. And nine times out of 10, if that's the equation, you'll be there on 25 years in a day. You'll still be there to start over for the next 25 years. Um, Again, you're not going to like that person every day. You're not going to. I mean, you're not going to love that person every day. You're not going to be in deep, romantic, crazy, you know, uh, rom-com love with that person every single day. But that's all right. Because it's it's a constant work in progress. It's a constant, it's a constant, you got to put some effort in. It's a constant, okay, I'm sick of that, but I'm going to deal with it. It's a constant Okay, I wish he could be better with this, but he's good at that, so I'll take it. It's a constant, oh, I wish she wouldn't say this, but she does that. So that's what it is. It's about a con it's a constant state of compromise. It's a constant state of, you know, and you look and you and it, 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 it's 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 a constant state of just working it out. It's just working it out, and hopefully, you know, at the end of the day, you'll be rewarded for it. Um, 25 years. That's what it is. So, how do you answer that question? How do you stay married for 25 years? You stay married for 25 years because you want to be married for 25 years. You got to want it. 